Imagine you are using a website and notice that the simple edit leads you to admin account where you can access to all the sensitive information and power to delete any user. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to do it and safeguards against it. Let's get started. Go to the challenge page and it says this lab has admin panel and to solve login as admin to delete the user Carlos. Credentials given are Wiener and Peter. Pretty simple. Click on assess the lab. Switch Foxy proxy to burp suit. Tap on my account. Now go to the address bar and add admin to the URL. Hit enter. Admin interface only available if logged in as administrator. Perfecto. Tap on my account. Use the given credentials that is Wiener, Peter and click on login. Enter any email ID of your own choice. Test 123 in this case and click on update mail. Now the email ID has been changed to test123, time to play, open burp suit, proxy, HTTP history and look for change email with post method. Mm, here it is and here is our email ID. Right click and send it to repeater, repeater tab, tap on send. HTTP 302 found with our updated email ID and role ID is 1. Now in request section along with mail type, type comma, role ID in quotes, colon, 2 and click on send. Mm. Now the role ID in response section is changed for the same email ID, role ID 2. Now get back to the challenge page, refresh and we have admin panel now. Click on it. We are assessing this page as administrator now. Delete user Carlos to complete the challenge and it's done. Congratulations, you solved the lab. To protect against vulnerabilities where a user role can be modified, please practice number one, role management in backend only. That is the role field is the user profile should be read only. Number two, enforce role based assist control. Number three, input validation and sanitization. Number four, use secure authentication and authorization mechanism. By implementing these safeguards, you can reduce the risk of unauthorized role modifications and protect sensitive user data. Thanks for watching.